Hello everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is 1034 here. And I hope everybody's doing good this morning. I hope you are. Um, so I just want to kind of chime in for a second about something that I think I need to address. <laughs> just just for a moment. Just just for a moment. Um, so I have this this um Basically, I have this, hey, Jean, I have this um, poll going right now. And um, the poll is um, basically asking, um, are you more apt to want to sleep at night or have sex? So which one would you prefer? And the reason... Um, I wanted to talk about this is because um, there's many, 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 many people, not just not just not just men, but um, women as well, that um, are struggling with touch starvation. And I've been kind of posting a few things just to kind of touch on this because I think it's very, very important that I address. Things about intimacy. If you guys don't know, I currently have a video chat that I'm doing now um, once a month called Centrally Speaking, and I, I go more in depth about intimacy. But um, I'm concerned that, um, and I'm finding just by um, posts and conversations and just different things that's going on uh, within relationships where people are not wanting to become intimate, but they would much rather be sleep in their bed than having intimacy or having sexual relations. So I wanted to talk about this really quick because I think it's important that we do have this conversation. Intimacy is very um, healthy for you, um, for men and for women, for both. So I wanna put this out here because I think it's very important. Men and women both benefit from having a healthy um, love life. Now, if you notice, I didn't say sex life. I said love life because love involves or actually love in your sex life actually uh, takes it. It amps it. It amps it. It amplifies your sex life. So I wanted to talk about how important it is that um, you should desire to want to be intimate sex or sleep shouldn't even be a question i mean <laughs> you should want to be intimate you should want to feel touched you should want to touch your partner and if you're in a relationship with a uh, a, a, a a woman or a man or whatever you got going on and you're not touching embracing caressing um massaging uh really getting <laughs> being one-on-one -on -one with each other you're finding yourself to be in a starvation and what I mean by starvation I'm gonna tell you a story really quick there was a woman hey love hey docs there was a woman this is very powerful now I want you to get this there was this woman that opened up a hug parlor a hug parlor are you hearing me she opened up a hug parlor to embrace people just to give them a hug okay this woman was hugging and embracing men and women, of course. But was, what was so profound to me is that she said when she was embracing and hugging and holding a man that had not been hugged or held like that, he was like, oh my God, I have, it's been years since I've actually felt or embraced from a woman or have felt touched we as human beings need to be touched, okay? It's very important. And not to mention, we need to be intimate. We need to be having sex, sexual, healthy relationships. When you are in a relationship and you are resting next to each other and you are back to back, you're not facing, you're not talking, you're not conversing, you're not touching, you're just in a relationship with someone and they're just there for decoration, that's concerning. You want to make sure that when you're in a relationship, you're touching, even when you're talking. I want you to get this because intimacy doesn't always mean what's going on in the bedroom, okay? 
So when you're talking with your your the lady of your choice, guys, because you know you you gents are are my biggest followers. So when you're talking to your lady, go through her hair, touch her on her shoulder. Remember, I told you the last time what is very sexy to me is when you guys go, we're doing dishes and you take your arms and you go around our waist and give us that embrace. Just do that. Just something small, but touching is vitally important and it doesn't always mean to touch sexually. Touching physically is very important. And touching, do you guys realize that when you're touching, there is a connection See, a lot of times there's a lot of problems within relationships because there's a lack of connection. Think about this. I want you to think about the plug for just a minute. It, as you see, I have this light here. If I don't have this light plugged in, it's not, it's not going to get any electricity. It's not going to turn on for me, right? That's the same with your love, with the lover, the, with the woman that you're in a relationship with. With the women, women, with the men you're in relationships with, you have to plug in to your men, to your men, to your women, you have to plug in to receive the energy, the frequency, the joy from each other. So it's important that we do this. And this is why I'm concerned that so many people were rather turned back to back, or they would rather not be intimate with each other because they're not connecting. They're not plugged in. They're not drawn in. See, when you're in a relationship or when you're in a loving space with someone, you find yourself, and think about it, in the beginning of our relationships, we're always wanting to have sex. Oh my God, I love you. I want to be with you. I want to touch you. I want to feel you. I want, you know, and then over time, I get it. Obligations come in. I get it. We become parents. We become focused on our job. We got all these different things going on and we lose sight on how important it is to turn to each other and say, this is our time. If you are a parent and you have children, this is very important. It is very important that you specify and you dedicate that time to each other. Very important. Put the baby down. <laughs> I know the baby is adorable and cute and loving and all of that. That's a beautiful thing. Put the baby down. Let the baby cry a little bit, but you need to be either making love to your husband or making love to your lady or making love to your man because you need to connect with each other. There needs to be a connection. There needs to be a feeling of enjoyment with each other. A lot of times we are in a relationship with, our, with, a, with someone and it's about business. Well, what bill needs to be paid? Okay, let me write that down. And what what's the problem with the what's the problem with the um with the washer? The washer's not working. Okay, and what's this problem going on? Okay, so this isn't working. And what about this? And what about that? You're writing down problems, 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 problems. And you you know what? Your relationship becomes a problem-solving relationship. It's no longer about connection and 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 joy and intimacy. Hey, Misty, thank you, love. I'm so glad you shared this. So it's not about intimacy anymore. It's about solving problems. And so your relationship is what? Now all about problems. So it's very important that you sit back and you say, you know what? Intimacy is very important, but sex is very important for women. Ladies, please hear me. Intimacy is very important for you. Very important for you. I know you may be in love with your sleep. I get it. I get it. I know some people that can sleep for 10, 11 hours straight. Just sleep. And that's fine. But it's, it's concerning to me because do you realize what sex does for your body? I mean, have you really paid attention to what it does for your body? Do you know what sex does for your emotional state? Do you know what sex does to help advance you into your creativity? All of these things we don't talk about because it's, hey, Tony, it's, it's important that we talk about how important sex is in your life. God gifted us sex for a reason. And when you see women that are intimately having a great sex life, you see how good their health is, how vibrant they are. They have a lot more confidence. And that's because sex brings about a rejuvenation that is what sex is for i mean really but i'm finding a lot of women are like eh, 
I'd rather just sleep. That's concerning. Because sex is, to, sex is really to rejuvenate you. Having a man to touch you and show you that you're beautiful is, a, is, is actually an action that is going to help to elevate you into you, you, re, you revisiting how beautiful you are. Yes, it's nice to hear it. It's nice for people to tell you you're pretty and nice and all that. But when a man touches you and is embracing you and is having a sexual relationship with you, there is a newfound understanding of how beautiful you really are. Because a man is what? He's basically there making love to who you are, to your spirit, to your to your essence. So I just wanted to come in real quick. I'm just, you know, I got this, I got this poll going. And the poll is on my page called Carla Nicole Wisdom Coaching. My page is open. You guys can go over there and take the poll and, and sign up and say if you would rather have sex or sleep. But I'm concerned because I think it's very important that we get out of thinking that sleep is more important. If you have a healthy, beautiful, awesome, joyful, exciting sex life, you will get the sleep you need. <laughs> you will get the sleep you need. Matter of fact, you'll get so good at sleeping that when you awaken, it won't feel you won't feel so tired because you are actually when you are making love and having sex, there is a rejuvenation between the two of you. He's receiving a joy and you are receiving a joy, but you're also rejuvenating each other through the combine. This is what's so important. I talk about intimacy because I want you guys to get this. We should not be so caught up in only wanting to sleep. If that's the case, why is your libido so low? Check your diet. You know what I'm saying? Are you going through some, some you know, hormonal changes? If, if it's, if it's an erectile dysfunction problem, pay attention to that. These are things you want to look at because if you are rather, if you rather sleep than sex, then something is a little off balance here because your sexual libido should be at least, I would say on a scale of one to 10, at least a seven, eight or nine. And if it's not, then what is it that is stopping that from wanting to be rejuvenated? What is, what is stopping you from wanting the connection to be sexual? That's what you need to ask yourself. And that's, what's very important. So I wanted to just come on here and let y'all know, Hey, happy Thursday. I'm so glad y'all are here, but I want you, Hey William, good morning. So I wanted you guys to know that it is so important to really, really connect with yourself, really connect with how important it is to really sit back and say, Oh, you know what? Sexing somebody is, is a joy. And when you have that, like I said, intimacy is a beautiful thing. But outside of having the intimacy, touch when you're not in the bedroom. Like I said, you can touch their shoulders. You can rub them. You can caress them. You can flirt with them. All of these things are a means of touch. When you stay plugged into your lover, when you stay plugged into your wife, your, your, your spouse, your, your, your um, significant, your partner, whatever. When you stay connected to them, you'll find yourself like, man, I'm rejuvenated. I feel like a newfound person. I'm feeling joy. Again, a lot of people are out here miserable, man, sad, not having sexual relationships with nobody. And I tell people all the time, why not? That is a God gifted joy to be intimate with someone that cares about you, of course. And when you have sex, it is supposed to replenish, replenish your life. It's supposed to replenish your life. And it's also there energetically to allow you to grow and, and you grow spiritually you grow psychologically you grow emotionally you grow energetically you even find yourself more creative you can come up with more things to talk about write about be about because you're like man i've i got this new charge now because when you and your mate are intimate there is an energetic what realm going on joy going on frequency so it concerns me, man. You don't want to make, I mean, you don't want to have sex. You just want to have sleep. We need to think about why. Because this is prime time. You know, unless you're like 80 or 90, and even for me, I'm still saying they should still want to get it in. But if you're not 80 and 90 years old and you would rather sleep than have sex, I've got to wonder why. What is it? What is it stopping you from wanting to be 
vibrant. There's a vibrancy that comes from intimacy. There's a vibrancy from being um, intimate with your lover, with, with whom you're with. And if you don't have somebody, guess what? That's not doomsday either. That just may be a season. But if that's the case, if you're not being intimate, then you need to be getting energy body work done, which is what I do. I do energy body work. You need to be getting that done. You need to have you need to have some type of touching going on because your body goes through a touch starvation. And that's something that is something that is a uh, very trying. It, it it causes a sadness 9 times out of 10 and then the sadness breeds loneliness, breeds isolation, then you don't want to be social and then guess what? You're not even eligible to be in a relationship because you don't have any way of getting or meeting anyone. You've put yourself or drowned yourself in a misery. Because you don't feel like, well, I, you know, I'm not worthy to be touched. We're human beings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're human beings. We touch our children, right? We kiss, we hug, we love on them, but we don't want to have the same for ourselves. You have to have a joyous sex life. And if you're not really having a joyous sex life, then you've got to ask yourself why. And if your libido is low, gentlemen, please inbox me. I have some very good, uh, I have some things that I can help you with on that. So if your libido is low or you're having erectile dysfunction or you're just um, having premature ejaculation, all of these things that are happening with y'all gents, you can inbox me personally and I can give you all kinds of information about how to improve your sex life. Because here's my thing. I work for insurance, okay? And I just want to give y'all a heads up. You gentlemen that are not having sex or you gentlemen that are hindered from having sex because you're not able to have an erection or your erections are dysfunctional listen as you age the the health insurance agencies don't pass out viagra and cialis like candy no it is on a strict three pill a month guideline you might get five are you hearing me so I'm trying to explain and express to you how important it is that you understand penile health. It's very important for you, especially you gentlemen. If you are not having an uh, erection or you're having a hard time with your erections or you're prematurely ejaculating while being intimate with a woman, then, like I said, inbox me. I can give you some details. I've already had some gentlemen come to me about it, and um, I gave him some, some very good information to help him with that if you guys want to be on my email list i have a lot of information about sexual health because right now you know my thing is if i have you guys reconnect with women and you women connect with men and you're not and you're not intimate with each other it's not going to it's not going to last because your your lack of touch is going to cause a lot of backpedaling you guys are not going to be connected to each other so it's all good and fine in the beginning but as the touching stops the relationship fades. This is why it's so important that we talk about sex health. And for those of you that don't know, Sunday you guys are all invited to come to my video chat that I have at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, Sunday night. It's called um, my health and wellness video chat. Okay, I'm going to have myself. I'm going to have um, Docs Digla and Sadia Therapy Lady. And also Nina Simone, we are going to provide you with information about health. Nina's going to talk about toxins and what, what unknown toxins are going on um, and how to get rid of them. Docs is going to talk about vegan health, vegan eating and dietary ways to improve your health. I'm going to talk about energy body work. And then um, Sadia is going to talk about breath work. So we're all going to give you something and gift you with information to, to replenish your life. Not just your sex life, but just your life in general. So if you want to be a part of that, I'm going to uh, put on here the event uh, link and all that so you guys can get in and get on with that. But like I said, gentlemen, um, it's very important for you. If you guys are having issues with your um, erections and things like that, you know, holler at me. I can get you some information. But anyway, back to sex, sex and sleep. Hey, Larry, back to, to sex and sleep. Um, like I said, if you're sleeping all the time or your only desire is to sleep rather than being intimate, that can, that really concerns me. 
Um, you need to wonder why your libido is so low. And if your libido is low, there's a reason nine times out of ten why it is low. But it shouldn't be if, like I said, if you're younger than 75, you shouldn't be like, I want to sleep. It should be like, no, I want to be intimate. Because intimacy is key for, for health, for joy, for rejuvenation. All right. So I just wanted to come in here real quick and let you guys know what's going on. Um, like I said, Sunday, join me, you know, every Sunday I have at 12 noon, I have my show live with Carla Nicole. Um, if you guys are not yet, if you guys are not yet members of my uh, group, which is live with Carla Nicole, I want you to join that today so you can get on and get into my, my, uh, my world. I got a lot going on over there. So I'd love for you guys to be a part of that. Also, I have a course out called uh, Learn to Unlearn. So I'm also working on gentlemen and women replenishing their life and reboosting how they um, have stuff going on in their life that just they need to unlearn some things. So I got a course coming for that as well. So again, man, I just want to see um, the sex lives get back to where they should be and should be thriving and if they're not, why not? <laughs> because it's important, man. It, it is really important. So I want to see what everybody's saying here. Let's take a look. We got Keith. He said he's an Aquarius and he agrees that with everything um, that I'm saying and that um, that type uh, affection. And, and he said he's a touchy, touchy type of person. He loves to hug and he loves to kiss. And he agrees. See, this is the thing. A lot of people don't realize. And I want to make it make it very well known for the ladies a lot of men like touched being touched <laughs> you know what i'm saying it depends on you know a lot of women don't think that they think that well you know men don't really want to be touched or or they don't need it that a lot of times women think well you know men don't really need to be touched and you know it's all about me and i need to be touched and all this it's like no <laughs> men need to be touched also men do y'all ladies understand it is very important that a man needs to know you find him beautiful. He needs to know you see his masculinity and his beauty. You're just like, well, it's all about me. You're selfish as a lover. That's not, that's not attractive to a man. A man wants to feel like he is being wanted. He is wanted there in that space with you. So if you're not showing like, yeah, I want to, I want you here. I care about you. I care about how you are with us, you and I. Um, then it's like he's, he's feeling like a, a lack. So you want to make sure that you are making sure you are present there and making sure you make him feel beautiful. So sometimes, ladies, because we have been so, I think, just so embraced and taught that you know, the sex piece is only for us to feel beautiful. But it is very important that the man feels beautiful as well. He needs to feel like he is the best man on earth. I mean, at, in that moment, in that time and space, he needs to know you find him to be the most handsome, masculine specimen on earth, period. And then in that space, you'll find like, oh, okay, it'll be responsive. He will be very responsive to you. And, you know, with ladies, we can see you are responsive. So, again, it's very important that we pay attention to how our lovers are respond responding. If you're not sexy, if you're in the bed with your mate and you're just laying back to back, you need to start changing some things. Number one, start touching again. And even if it feels uncomfortable at first because you haven't touched so long, go back to just small, slight caresses outside of the bedroom. Do it while they're talking to you. Just go out down their arm, down their back, touch. And you'll find out like, oh, you'll find out that there's a response because touching each other brings about an energy. Okay, so you want to make sure that you do that. Start start off slow. Start off slow. Take baby steps. But make sure you go back to touching each other. Because when you don't, like I said, when you don't plug that light into the wall, it's not it's not going to it's not going to turn on. Same with your man. Same with your woman. If you don't plug in to her or to him, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get anything back. You're just not. 
So, um, again, it's Thursday. I just wanted to vibe with you guys and let y'all know, like, look, at the end of the day, it's very important that we change how we look at sex. We start to really in advance how we feel about sex. Sex is not a dirty act. And also, I want to definitely point out this. This is very, very important. And I talk about this all the time. Ladies, your vagina is not a gift that you bow up and you tie and you hand to a man. You are not gifting a man sex. Understand that. Sex is not a gift gifted to him. And a lot of women think, well, I'm giving my man sex, so I should be at a certain level or I should be at a certain stage in his mind and heart because I'm giving him sex. Or he has to ask me if he can get sexual with me or whatever. Uh -uh. See, this is where we're going awry here. It is not about gifting your man sex. That is not true. Okay, I want all ladies on here to understand gifting your man sex is an untruth. Whoever said that, taught that, it is dead wrong. You are exchanging in your sex. See, I used to have a problem when people would say, this young boy got my daughter pregnant. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. The boy got your daughter pregnant? Is that what you're telling me? So the daughter wasn't there? He just gave her the baby. And, and how exactly did that happen if, if she wasn't there? No, they exchanged a sexual relationship. <laughs> they exchanged sex. And so both of them are pregnant. It's not just her. Or I'm, I'm sorry, it's not just him. So stop saying that you are gifting a man sex and you should get extra perks because you're doing that. No, that's not true either. Sex is an exchange. Y'all are both giving and taking. Now, it is up to you, ladies, if you are not receiving orgasmic experience or, or climaxes, that is on you. That is something you need to start researching on your own. How do I get to a better enjoyment sexually? Okay? So you get a better enjoyment sexually by doing research, finding out about your own body. You can have a great sex life if you would stop, look, and listen, and pay attention. Ladies, I'm going to give you a little one right here. Four ways you can have an orgasm. Okay? Four. Do your research. Gentlemen, I know you guys always feel left out because people tell women all the time, well, they can be multi-orgasmic and all this other stuff. Gentlemen, you can be too. So don't let it be cut. Don't, don't get confused or conflicted and think that you can't have multiple or a long drawn out enjoyable ejaculation that's not true either you guys can also feel that enjoyment of an orgasmic experience on a multiply high level so again we're not doing enough research we're not you know what i'm saying we're thinking we're gifting a man sex and then he's got to ask to get it no no it is an exchange sex is an exchange sex is a joy Sex is something to be honored and cherished and respected. So if you're in a sexual relationship with someone, be mindful. Be mindful. There are feelings. There are emotions. There is pleasure. So there is a very high chance that one person can get very <laughs> caught up in those feelings of enjoyment. So you have to be mindful. So make sure you're mindful of who you're sexually partnering with. Okay, so this is just little stuff I'm giving to y'all free with, you know, free advice just to just to pay attention. If you I'm going to say it one more time and I'm out of here. If you are only wanting to have sleep and not sex and your libido is off, you need to be questioning why. I'm strongly suggesting that you either inbox me or you start doing some research as to how to how to um energize get re-energized get back to your basics find out what it is in you that you're lacking that can get you back to wanting to be intimate again because you need to be we are built our bodies are built to be intimate that's what we're supposed to be doing <laughs> so if you're wanting to sleep my concern is why all right so I'm out of here, lovelies. I'm so glad you guys came on here. I love all of you guys. I'm looking out for you. I, you know, I've been told I'm the doctor. I'm the sex doctor. I've been told I'm, you know, the new Dr. Ruth, whatever. I'll take all of those. I, I look, I'm cool with that. 
but I'm just really wanting to re-engage people. So if you want a relationship, that's wonderful. But what are you doing in your bedroom? How are you keeping the intimacy solid and strong? That needs to be very, very, very important. And you need to be focused on how can we do this? We need to learn. I'm about education. I'm about sex education. It's very important for me that you guys are sexually educated. Because really, if you really take the time out to really pay attention, we really weren't educated on how to be intimate. We really weren't taught about sex all like that. That's why I have created what I call Centrally Speaking. You guys are all welcome. If you're not a part of my group, you know, you might find yourself in the dark about the stuff. But I have a, a, a video chat that I do with my group where we sit and vibe and I educate about sex. It's very important that we learn what we didn't know. I'm still learning. I'm still reading and researching and learning new stuff. I'm like, man, I didn't know this. I didn't know that about the autonomy, about the about the man's body. We know only about the penis, but did you know the biggest organ on a man is his skin? That tells you a lot. His penis is just a part of him. It's his skin that's that's the biggest and largest organ. So when you understand that, it's like, oh, so rubbing and caressing and touching is vitally important with that man to feel engaged with you, to feel rejuvenated by you you're supposed to be ladies you're supposed to be that man's peace you really are you're supposed to be his peace you're supposed to draw him in okay when we open vaginally we are opening okay vaginally the vaginal opening is to show you you're supposed to be welcoming him there's a welcoming going on sexually we don't just open for nothing. That's a psychological opening. So some women that are restrictive and scared and has a lot of trauma because they haven't got a healing for their yoni, that's because they haven't done the work. You have to allow yourself to get back to being welcoming. A man can tell when you are not welcoming him. That's a whole not, That's a whole nother show. I know I'm getting all off to it, but listen. If you're not opening to that man, he knows that you're restricted. You're restricted. There's something going on with you. So why? Why are we having these issues? We don't want to talk about sex because it's so taboo and, oh my God, it's dirty and all this other stuff. It's not. It's natural. <laughs> what we were born to do. I've told my, my daughter, who is 19 now, you were born to procreate. Period. <laughs> we're born to multiply. So... In order to do that, that's part of it. But that's not all of it. Once you procreate, sex doesn't stop. Sex just changes to what? More recreational. More about replenishing each other. More about connecting to your partner. These are things that we don't talk about or discuss. Every stage of our life, we have life stages. Every stage of our life, sex is different. Did you know that? Sex is different in every stage of our life. From when we're little, from when we're 20... So when we're 80, it's a totally different type of sex life. But do we even know the difference of the stages that we go through? No. When you change women and ladies, we know about our changes. It's very common. We talk about our changes because our changes are all about menopause and all this. Men have changes as well. They're not as frequently receiving erections like they received when they were 19 and 20. So men have to have a new different type of sexual engagement with you. So now, when we thought it doesn't take much for a man to be intimate with me, it does take much because you now have to what? You have to rejoice in him. And he is now, it's not just about the genital collision. It is now more about you desiring him and welcoming him into your space. Again, every stage of our life, sex changes. Nothing's the same. This is why I'm about education because I'm sure you have never heard that there's a difference in sex every stage of your life. If you've been told that, then great, you've done, done some research, but it is a difference in every stage of your life. So when you're talking about sex, how do I prepare for my next season? Is my sex going to be the same as it was when I was 20 at 80? And if not, what do I got to prepare for here? Because my desires may still be the same, but my body may not be responsive as it was when I was 20. So what do I do to still be able to enjoy and be engaged with my lady or with my man? 
stuff stuff that I'm going to talk about. That's why I'm here. I'm just saying I'm about educating and encouraging everybody about their sex life and their love life. Like I said, it's very important. We have healthy ones. Healthy, healthy, healthy. I'm not about judging, but I am about making sure you are healthy with what you're doing. And so when you're in a healthy love life and you have a substantial amount of sex with each other, you should be giving something. You, you should be receiving and you should be giving in the, in the sex. So again, ladies, like I said, we're not gifting a man our vaginas. That's not what we're doing. We're not gifting them a yanni. Here, here it is. That's not how it is. We are actually exchanging. So we are receiving and giving. And if you are not getting orgas orgasms and climaxes, then you need to be doing some research. Or you need to be joining me and calling me and inboxing me and we can get that together and figure out why that is. But <laughs> we are born to procreate. We are also born to enjoy recreational sex after our time of childbirth and all that is over with. We need to be actually enjoying that. So this is important. These are things that we need to talk about. But nobody's conversating about sex. We're all on the hush. Why? I'm not scared to talk about it, but I'm just concerned that a lot of people don't want to talk about it, so they rather sleep. But my concern is if you're doing all that sleeping, that's not healthy. I'm just saying. All right? So I'm out of here. I went way past the time. But listen, if y'all have anything else y'all want to talk about, let me know. Like I said, I have a show called Centrally Speaking. I'm doing it every once a month for my group. So if you guys want to be a part of that, man, listen, holler at me. All right, so I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful Friday. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope I gave you something to think about. And uh, you guys take care. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.